Hello guys, welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. We are a team of extremely passionate teachers, researchers, and statisticians from the top universities of India and USA. Our mission is to help you curve your career in statistics, data science, and machine learning. How do we do that? Number one, we help you build your foundations. We achieve that by making an optimized plan for your learning journey. Number two, we help you prepare and ace your entrance examinations in statistics and data science, like IIT Jam MS, ISIM STAT, and CMI MS Data Science. Number three, we give our absolute best to help you design your career by organizing workshops and certified data science courses. To book a trial class for your preparation courses of IIT Jam MS, ISIM STAT, and CMI MS Data Science, check out the first link in the description below. If you're enjoying the video, show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We welcome you again to this passionate community of budding statisticians and data scientists. Let's enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned and stay blessed. One thing was trace and another thing was rank. Okay. So trace also you can find it for, like it is defined for a square matrix. Okay, and it is nothing but the summation of the diagonal entries. So mathematically, how we can write it? So trace of a square matrix A is the summation of the diagonal entries okay so what is trace of a equals to summation of e i j i equals to one to n and i equals to j or you can write it to Okay, so this is trace. Fine. And a few properties of trace. Okay. So properties of trace, uh, it is basically first one is if you multiply. Uh, uh, multiply a matrix with lambda where lambda is a scalar okay then you can just take the lambda out and take the trace of it only tr so and do that yeah it is summation and that is why uh, actually multiplication with matrix means multiply with all the entries like lambda a ij for all the entries and as we are taking its summation then the lambda will be out and the trace will be traced okay so this is the first thing okay and the second property is that yeah this is quite okay like trace of a plus b equals to trace of a and trace of b okay Number three. Three is that trace of AB equals to trace of BA. Trace of AB equals to trace of B. Okay. The matrix multiplication may not be commutative, but okay. Uh, but you can find this like. A, B, you can do because A and B are square matrix. You don't need to consider the uh, number of rows and number of columns, basically the dimensions. But even if your A, B answer is different than B, A, but still your trace will remain same because for trace, we are only considering the diagonal entries. Okay. And a basic in intuition when you do A, B, And when you do BA, your diagonal entries will be same. 
let's just take an example and solve it at home and just check that all the diagonal entries will come same and that is why the trace is also same okay so these two things are very important in the like these three properties okay so i'm taking this matrix so this is a basically uh, four rows and three column matrix four cross three fine now we we will define rank from here so you can see that there are there is one row which can be written as a linear combination of other three rows okay because you can write this basically like the last last row as like one into r1 r1 means the row one so you can write r4 equals to one into r1 plus two into r2 plus three into r3 because I have contract constructed the matrix likewise. Here comes the concept of dependency. Yeah. Okay. So don't write the concept of dependency. It means probabilistic dependency in my mind. Okay. <laughs> this is not dependency means probabilistically different dependent or independent, something like that. But actually, it is a linear combination of other rows. This is more concrete. Yeah, yeah, but still not dependency. Okay. Yeah, like linear combination. So you can, like, now I will talk about row, uh, like row operations. So how to do row operations? Like, you can reduce the matrix a little bit. So you have something called like this. And of course, first you can do one thing, like how to do the row and column operation. So, yeah, for me, I have an advantage. I can copy paste. But if you guys are writing it in pen paper, then it's painful. But so from here, we can do something like we can write R4 dash equals to R4 minus R1. We can do and make it zero. That is one zero 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 one zero 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 one, and this one, this row, this row minus this row. So this will be zero two three. Okay, <clears throat> first operation, and our main aim is to find a few rows which are zero because those are linearly dependent on each other yeah on other rows of the matrix or linear and we can write as a linear combination of other rows we are interested to find that so our main interest to find zero rows some zero rows in a matrix okay and again we can do something like r4 dash equals to r4 minus 2 r2 if we do that then we can make it zero this two zero because we are multiplying this with two and and minusing it with the fourth fourth row so this will be again one zero 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 one zero 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 one and zero zero three and likewise if you do another row operation that is r4 dashed equals to r4 minus three r3 the third one because you can make the three zero if you multiply this this third row with three and minus it with the final row and then you can get a total zero row one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 okay 